Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be addressing an important topic, fixing the error 0E. This error occurs when the winload.efi file is missing or when the Windows Boot Manager is unable to locate it based on the information stored in the BCD or boot configuration data. This problem often arises after disk cloning or making changes to disk partitions. The root cause is typically a mismatch between these changes and the boot configuration data or BCD, resulting in boot issues. But don't worry, we have a solution that does not require rebuilding the entire BCD. Let's get started. Before we dive into the troubleshooting process, let's briefly review the boot flow. Understanding this process will help us navigate the BCD file later in the troubleshooting phase. During the boot process, your computer goes through several steps to successfully load Windows. We will focus on three key components, the firmware boot manager, the Windows boot manager, and the Windows boot loader. The firmware boot manager is stored in your system's firmware and provides a menu of boot options. Its primary role is to locate and launch the Windows boot manager, which resides in the EFI system partition, or ESP. The Windows boot manager, in turn, presents a boot menu if multiple operating systems are installed and is responsible for locating and launching the Windows boot loader from the appropriate partition based on the information stored in the BCD. The Windows boot loader, known as winload.efi, is responsible for loading the Windows kernel and other essential system files. It ensures that the necessary components are loaded into memory to start the Windows operating system. To troubleshoot and fix the configuration settings of these components, we will be using the powerful BCD edit command. This command allows us to interact with the BCD store and examine the settings of the Windows boot manager. We will pay close attention to crucial parameters like device, and OS device. By identifying any inaccuracies in these settings, we can rectify them using the bcd edit slash set command. For example, if the device setting is incorrect, we will update it to the correct value using the appropriate command. Similarly, if the OS device setting is inaccurate, we will modify it accordingly. In these commands, we'll use the default alias to ensure that the settings are applied specifically to the Windows bootloader object within the BCD. Occasionally, we may need to employ the disk part command to determine the location of the Windows partition on the disk. Now, let's dive into the troubleshooting process and fix the error together. Please note that this phase occurs after Windows repair has failed to resolve the issue but before resorting to rebuilding the entire BCD. It's also worth mentioning that the specific commands to rebuild the BCD may vary slightly depending on whether your system uses MBR or GBT partitioning. But don't worry, we won't need to use those commands. The first step is to download the Windows installation media from the Microsoft Software Download website. After downloading, create an installation media on a USB drive by following the provided instructions. Insert the USB drive into your computer and change the BIOS boot option to boot from the USB. On the Windows Setup screen, select Next and then choose Repair Your Computer. From there, navigate to the Troubleshooting section and try using Startup Repair to fix any problems that prevent Windows from loading. If Startup Repair fails, proceed to the next step. To examine the BCD store, go back to the Advanced Options menu and select Command Prompt. Here, we'll use the BCD Edit command to take a closer look at the BCD store and its entries. As you can see, the first item in the BCD is the Windows Boot Manager located on the EFI system partition. Its responsibility is to locate the Windows bootloader with the ID default in the brackets. However, we can already spot an issue. The device parameter is pointing to partition D, which may be incorrect. 
To confirm, we will use the disk part command followed by list volume to check the location of our Windows installation. As displayed on the screen, our Windows installation is on the C drive, whereas the BCD shows the Windows Boot Manager indicating it's on the D drive. This inconsistency explains why the Boot Manager cannot locate the Windows Boot Loader. Now that we have identified the problem, let's exit this part and fix it using the bcd edit slash set command. We will update the device parameter with the correct value, which in this case is the C drive. We will then do the same for the OS device parameter. We have successfully updated the parameters for the Windows Boot Loader with the ID default in the brackets. After successfully updating both parameters, restart your computer, and you will notice that it now boots into Windows smoothly. Once in Windows, you can verify the changes made to the BCD by using the BCD edit command again. Take a look at the screen and you will see our changes to the Windows Boot Loader's two parameters, device and OS device, which ensures the successful loading of our Windows operating system. And there you have it. That wraps up our troubleshooting and fixing guide for the UEFI Boot Error 0E, the missing winload.efi. By following this tutorial, you can save yourself the hassle of running a series of commands to rebuild the entire BCD store. If you found this video helpful, please support us by subscribing to our channel for more informative content. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.